Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. Thank you. Uh, today's video is on seven forgotten gritty cop shows from the 1960s. You remembered any of these? Let's take a look. Uh, for the most part, 60s television is not known for its realism. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but who needs realism when you've got shows like Batman and the Monkeys and Gilligan's Island? Beverly Hillbillies and such. Uh, but one corner of the network television grew grittier in the 60s, and that would be the ones involving law enforcement. The social changes of the 60s, the action shifted to modern times as though urban cops became the norm in crime shows. Many of these show series became a lasting franchise. Uh, there were some, however, that failed to click with the audiences, despite their quality and killer casts. They, they, let's take a look at it. The 87th Precinct. Ed McBain belongs on the Mount Rushmore of police fiction. Perhaps a century, the author, real-life name Salvatore, Salvatore Albert Lamido, pumped out books in his 87th Precinct series at an astounding rate, more than one per year from 56 to 2005. Uh, 63 is 97th Precinct works were already being adapted uh, by legendary filmmakers like Akira Kurosawa, who turned King's Ransom into high and low. For that, the best sellers were spawning TV series like this tough procedural set in the fiction metropolis of Isola. Norman Fell, future Mr. Roper, was in the cast, as well as the chiseled Robert Lansing. Uh, number two is Locked Up. If you ever wondered what Leonard Nimoy might have looked like as the Fonz, track down this overlooked 59-61 to 61 series. Sadly, hunting down episodes can be harder than cracking a 60-year-old cold case. Future Mr. Spock uh, turns up in denim and leather as a gang tough in the uh, case of Frank Cockrotty, uh, a.k.a. the Morality on a Shield. Casting agent on the show was knocking it out of the park, as the syndicated show also featured Mary Tyler Moore. Angie Dickinson, Gavin McLeod, Ted Knight, Buddy Ebsen, and more. Miami Undercover. Few men have ever thrown a punch as well as Rocky Graziano. Boxing legend slugged his way to the title of world middleweight champion in the 40s. After retiring from the sport, he transitioned to television. Initially comedy, believe it or not. A partner was a Take My Wife Please comedian, Henry Youngman, for the Hen uh, Henny and Rocky show. Later, he turned into an action hero for this Florida set crime series. Played the strong man alongside P.I. Jeff Thompson, played by Lee Bowman. Uh, pity the stuntman who might have to accidentally caught one of his fists. The Asphalt Jungle. 49 novel The Asphalt Jungle inspired the 1950 film The Asphalt Jungle in this television series 11 years later. That being said, the small screen version had little in common with the source material aside from its gritty noir tone. Jack Warden from 12 Angry Young Man, Shampoo, and Heaven Can Wait starred. After the show bombed, Candid Camera clobbered it in the ratings. The studio edited the pilot episode, The Lady and the Lawyer, into a feature film, released in 61 as The Lawbreakers. The New Breed. Leslie Nielsen's eventual evolution in the slapstick comedy star would not have come as more of a shock to 50s and 60s television viewers. Actor was best known for playing stern crime fighters, uh, first on The Untouchables and later on this overlooked Quinn Martin. Quinn Martin would later create The Fugitive, The FBI, The Invaders, The Streets of San Francisco, Cannon, and Barnaby Jones. Leslie Nielsen became the live action Mr. Magoo. Arrest and Trial. Sorry, Dick Wolf. This show was Law and Order decades before Law and Order. Each episode split its crime story in half, first focusing on the police procedural before shifting the setting to the courtroom. Ben Gazzara uh, led the police part, while uh, former rifleman Chuck Connors put the crooks behind bars as criminal attorney uh, John Egan. Despite four Emmy nominations, arrest and trial lasted just one season. NYPD. Jack Warden clipped on a different badge for this 67 police drama. Uh, which attempted to bring the real-world happenings of New York City policing and cutting-edge urban social issues to the small screen. Again, give a tip of the cap to the casting director, who booked future icons such as Al Pacino, Harvey Keitel, and James Earl Jones. 
truthfully, the reason I did this one uh, was because of, of all the stars in these things. And, and it's just amazing to me that much talent and these things didn't click. That's kind of crazy. Well, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, please don't forget about uh, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. And uh, have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.